because you don't have a biblical knowledge, most of you, this is why what you're missing. You don't understand this story, this ever going story of the fallen angels and the struggle to get back into what you would call heaven. The Jews call Saturn heaven. I, I'm not so sure I find it to be that exactly, but whatever. So here's Ebola. We notice that it's yellow and purple. We know that those colors are associated with this whole Saturnian thing. Now it's interesting for those of you who are old enough to remember this show, Gunsmoke. Okay, Saturn is who? He's the lawgiver. He's authority. He's fascism, right? So we see that over here in the 60s show, the sheriff, Gunsmoke, he's wearing purple and yellow, the same that you're going to see over here. This word that they're trying to pass off on the news as Ebola is Eloha, which is over here. Okay? Lord and God. There's your Saturn, which are the Elohim. That's them appointing themselves Lord and God. And the androgynous Eloha. You see? Now, let's look here. Follow me. It talks about the fall right here. That's the story of separation of the fallen angels which would be equivalent to Darth Vader turning to the dark side okay and then God Saturn right and then here's Earth okay now let's go back and look at some a book from 1859 the sheriffs which is really Arabic for Sharif yeah are you aware are you aware that even in today's modern times because of the affiliation of the word sheriff with the word Saturn that if, if, if your county sheriff comes and do an investigation, he supersedes anybody in the state. He can tell the FBI to get the fuck off the property and they can't say boo. The sher sheriff or sheriff or Saturn has the power to throw any authority out of that district. That's the law. So let's see where this comes back from. The sheriffs were invented in Tyree and Sidon. You know who, you know who lived there? Who used to wear purple? Hmm. The Phoenicians. Truly, gentlemen, it hands, it stands with reason. They, it's funny, they write an S as an F. For I am sure that they were the first inventors of scarlet, which is the purple. But to leave this opinion, I do find in the Bible how Joseph was by Pharaoh, king of Egypt, made sheriff. So now we're all the way back in biblical times using the word sheriff of Grand Cairo in Egypt, and Daniel also was, by Nebuchadnezzar, king of Assyria, made sheriff of Babylon. And we all know Babylon's associated with Saturn. So all of this story about this Ebola infection, infection and the dude being 33 and being released, we all know that the 33 is referring to the fallen ones. Comprendo bubbleheads, are you getting it? There's no Ebola. See why this is purple and yellow? When they talk about the Tower of Babel, biblically, that's where everybody's language was changed and everybody spoke a different language because mankind was trying, or the angels or whatever, were trying to get out and God said, I'll confound their language, confound it. We speak in tongues. We speak in tongues. Not this horse shit crap you see in the church is this mumbling or babbling bullshit. We're speaking in tongues because that ain't the original language. That's what they taught us to communicate with each other. All the old stuff was either drawn in pictures and they used colors. And if you look, if you look at the movie E.T., when they communicated with whatever the freaky things were supposed to be, they did it with color and with tone. This shit that we're doing with our mouth means nothing. Because it's a sub, it's a substandard communication. In other words, putting it bluntly, whatever's trying to talk to us through colors and frequencies and tones, we ain't hearing it because we've been taught not to listen to it. So when you see these colors and stuff, something is being spoken. Unlike what Mr. McCleary, uh, that egotistical, maniacal dickweed, whatever the fuck you want to call him, is telling you nobody's trying to pass code. That is about the most inane, stupidest thing I've ever heard. Of course they are. They do it themselves through music. They pass code through music. Why? Because it's a tone. 
when you go to church, you make atonement. At least you were supposed to. You ain't doing it now. You're singing some bullshit songs. The original language of tone and frequency has been taken away from us. Therefore, all this gibberish that people do when they go to church or their mantras is crap. Because this is speaking to you in its language, which you don't know. Which I'm, which I'm understanding is all pictorial. Because colors are vibrations and vibrations and vibrations and frequencies and tones. Just like in the movie in E.T., which by the way is also Hebrew. Remember they played the little tone? Remember? And that's what they responded with? Because that's what they're looking for. This gibberish talking crap don't mean nothing to them. We were given a second language, which means nothing. It's good for us. It means nothing to whatever is running around out there trying to speak or whatever, and nobody's listening. I'm absolutely thoroughly convinced. That's why I'm picking up the code, because I'm picking up another language. I'm picking up another language. For all I know, this thing's saying I'm getting pissed, get the fuck out of Dodge. Exactly what this guy was the sheriff of, if I remember correctly. Dodge City. I might be wrong, but I think that's where he was. So you can see, somebody's saying something. And that's why this is so prevalent. When they say, well, why are they putting it out there? It's putting it out there. And I'm trying to learn this language, but it's very slow going. But I got an idea where it's coming from. So here we have the yellow and purple. We have Tyree, Sidon, which is Phoenician. We have the color for Saturn. It's yellow and purple. I told you guys that a million times before, long before I ever found any of this stuff. But no, no. Look inside yourself. Go listen to, uh, who's that little pig? Uh, Eckhart Tolle. Yeah, go listen to all of that stuff. Fuck you. Uneducated fucking moron, dipweed, fucking deceiving bastard. Mr. McCleary. Ooh. Nope. And you can't leave any comments anymore either because I'm tired of your bullshit. So you either like my video, don't like it, I don't give a shit. Just watch it and take what you can from it and get the fuck off my page. Oh, otherwise, have a nice day.